Hey folks, in today's video, we are going to be looking how you could play Windows games on your Mac for free with this free app called Whiskey. I'm going to go into how you could download it, how to set up Steam, and install your first video games. So first off, let's just find the app. If you search on Whiskey app on Google, the first app that comes up for the first link should be the Whiskey app for Mac OS. If it doesn't, I'll leave a link to getwhiskeyapp.com. I apologize for my voice. I believe I might be coming down with something and might be getting sick. So I'm trying to do the best that I can if I'm speaking quietly. Hopefully you can turn the volume up. Now, in the Whiskey app, you can download the latest app and that will install the app on your Mac OS after you download it. And essentially is wine supercharged and lever leverages chat, uh, not chat GPT, um, game port toolkit so you can run DX12 games tells you a little bit about it so once you download the game sorry download the app which I've already done it installs whiskey onto your applications folder simply what you need to do is launch it now I've already installed Steam but what you do is when you go to steampower.com you download it when you hit install, it goes right to the Mac OS version, but you click the Windows version and it downloads the Steam version. And as we can see, it automatically tries to pick up .exe files that have been downloaded. Once you double click this, it will ask you which bottle to run in. So if you don't have a bottle installed, be sure to create one first. Hitting this button, it be called Steam. And you have these options to choose it. So I'd already done this step, created the Steam bottle, and created Steam. Now, one tweak I want to showcase is that you can configure some things such as Retina mode, eSync, MSync, DVK. Um, so these are all ways that you can get um, tweaks to to better performance and that is in the bottle configuration these are the settings that i like doing having a hud trace shown using vulcan as the renderer i believe msync is faster and you have um, dp scaling so one last thing i also want to point out is that you can change the build order by going to the registry and once you open the wine registry you can find in this path of local machine software microsoft Windows NT current version. And you can simply edit this to be um, 19044, and this will help you launch more games such as Spider Man. So let's take a look at what Steam looks like in Whiskey. So, one thing I want to point out is if you have the Mac OS version installed, you could tell by the way that as the Mac OS closed versus the Windows version has the Windows close buttons. I do want to say that you can only have one open at a time. So this was already open and you can see it says no connection. You won't be able to get connection back until you exit or quit the app and then relaunch it. So you can only have one instance of Steam, whether it's Mac OS or whether it's Windows running on your computer, the other version will turn into a no connection mode. So now in the Steam version, I had already installed PAL World and Marvel. So let's just take a look and how this works um, after you download the games you just simply hit play and depending on the game's configuration or if it's able to be played we'll let you know um, what's possible so i get this thing saying known issues with the amd drivers would you like to download the drivers um, i'm gonna hit no here and there could be a form on it, if that's the right setting to do or not um, so as you can see here i have the m3 max version of the 14 inch running the 40 core version so this is the base model that you could get at the apple store i'll actually just showcase it as well and at the 14 inch when you select the m3 max version this is the base version that i got with a student discount for around it was around this price after taxes so it comes with one terabyte storage, 36 memory, 30 core GPU, and 14 core CPU. And in order to record game sounds and also record my microphone, I am using OBS at a setting shown here as high quality medium file size using the hardware H264. So keep that in mind when looking at these settings, um, considering them as the performance could be 
better if you are not recording locally on your machine. All right, so keep in mind I have OBS running. What's up? So now you're getting PAL World installed with game settings. Let's take a look at the graphics. Getting blocked by the HUD here, but set full screen and non retina resolution of 1 by 2 by 9. That's 6 2 is the resolution. Vsync turned off, motion blur on. So everything on medium, um, and you're getting around 80 frames per second. So if I should never play this game, it's the first time playing. Uh, let's do it. Good. You can see some stuttering happening, which is something that happens in Mac OS and shaders. So don't be uh, too alarmed, but if you are trying to play some video games and you happen to have an M2 Max, I also have the M2 Mac with Air. If you're interested in seeing how the M2 Air performs with the NES games, leave a comment below I'm playing on testing that. Um, so I still have no idea what this game is. These fake Pokemon. Needs Pokemon. That's who would who would adjust it? The I like dogs that are down. It's just damn. I think now I'll have a wood. So I'm going to start bonk it. Egg and poultry, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Alright, we put this game on pause. That was, I'll have to play this game with my friends more. You can see there that was running around 80 frames per second. And then I'm quite well besides the stutters, which is something Mac OS has an issue with. Um, so the last game I'm going to test as a Windows version is something I've tested on the M3 Pro, which is Spider-Man Remastered. Now keep in mind, if I had changed the Windows build version so that it should, could get past the um, not supported Windows by doing a register edit. Here it says there's no graphics card. I'm just going to go ahead and hit play, see how it loads up. So again, I have the HUD enabled to support OBS. Keep that in mind in terms of performance considerations. I'm currently in the lobby, getting 90 and loading in. So here I'm getting a, a base 60 frames per second. And let's just see how the battle goes. So as I expected, this game runs pretty well, similar to uh, the, my control and my hotkeys are messing with each other. Okay, all clear. Hope Standish is all right.
So I'm going to pause here, turn off the OBS recording, and see how uh, see how we do in frame per second. I'm going to move my iPhone to get you some screen recording. So now I'm speaking into my microphone. See here, do you get that bump frame per second to 90 FPS? And of course, taking a look at the settings that I had, should have done this while OBS was recording the non-retina resolution with FSR trying to hit 120 frames per second, everything on high. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. Sorry for the background noise. I think the people at the house are also getting sick. Uh, myself woke up with a sore throat, uh, but I hope you enjoyed seeing how you can play for free Windows games on the Mac. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to leave comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. I might have to uh, rest today as I obviously have a sore throat. But that is how you play Windows games for free. What I covered was downloading the Whiskey app, installing it it should appear in your applications then downloading steam with a windows.exe version setting up that bottle setting up the first initial steam and then of course it's mobile from there you just download the games that you want to play not all games are compatible there are some um there are some games that just simply won't launch or there are games that have anti-cheat that won't run uh, but for the most part you should be able to enjoy a plethora of more games at a decent frame rate with M3 Pro or with this device that I'm showing, the M3 Max. Let me know if you have any questions. See you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Peace.